what up though detroit so you already know the deal uh, you know just giving a shout out to petty tupac tv like comment subscribe you already know the deal we have to support our everybody's businesses and you know you already know how it goes we support each other you know what i'm saying make detroit win on my lap stupid nigga fuck a fight and i got a shooter with me screaming motherfucker i got a shooter with me screaming motherfucker What up, though? You already know how it go. Make sure you smash like, subscribe, and comment. I don't care what you comment as long as you comment. If you're watching the video and you made it to the end, make sure you press like. It's free. You ain't got to comment. Just press like. If you don't want to comment, just press like. It's free. I appreciate you. you want more videos like that? I need more support. Uh, viewership going back up. I've been dropping y'all videos like every day. Um, I I've been bossing it back up for y'all. But hey, let's get into this, man. I got a call from a brother off Instagram. And um, he said when I do videos talking about, you know, gang beefs and wars and stuff like that, to make sure that I put it in context, make sure that I elaborate uh, in, in detail, just get real in detail about things to the youth uh, that they might not understand or they might not, they might think it's cool or whatever. And, and be inspired by this type of these type of indictments. I know at one point in time, me and my clique wanted to go out like BMF. We never made it to that level, nowhere near. But I'm just saying that the, the thinking that we got here in our community, man, it, 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 it can be warped sometime. But uh, let, let let me say this real quick. This video was just based off lyrics that they pulled and played in court, and how you know. They'll, they'll build a case on you based on rap lyrics and they compare it to the crimes that you charged with and that gives it some validity to the jury the jury is very easy to convince you know so it's not like you be the if it's not clear cut dry that you didn't do it you can still get convicted with a reasonable doubt you can still get convicted with a reasonable doubt you take vbm wild or four, four two wild or whatever they call them on the street in his case the man he said that the man reached for his waist so he shot him right this is what he said in the statement. And the man hand was extended towards his waist. That's reasonable doubt. Whether he did it or not, that's reasonable doubt. He still got convicted. 
So all that reasonable style stuff, that stuff don't really count like that, man. So don't don't think. This, anyway, we are not gonna go there, but um, I, and I want to break down some parts, right? Hand signs. When you in videos, rappers, and you really living the life of what you're talking about, hopefully you're not like SMB Space. They say you know, be, be an internet banger, be a, a studio banger, make money, stay up out of prison, stay up out of the gang life, stay up out of the statistics, uh, like him and, and me. You dig what I'm talking about? So when you're doing hand signs in your video and you're saying you a blood, then you get an indictment talking about organized crime. Well, you in the video, you got a 55 coat on, you got an SMB coat on, you got a 42 coat on, you got a TMC coat on, Dexter Boys. And even if you, just because you're in a gang don't mean you're a part of organized crime. You could be in that gang and individuals are doing crime. It's not a gang until there's a hierarchy, there's a rank, and somebody's giving orders of what to do. But hey... Prove that you're not in a game. It's hard. That's what I'm saying. And they get, hit you with the gang enhancements on your sentences. It raise your guidelines up. So if you're supposed to do five years, you got gang uh, enhancement. They can give you seven, ten, twenty. Go above your guidelines. So on and so forth, man. So you got to be very careful about the signs and the, and the shaking up and taking pictures, throwing up gang signs. You got to be careful with your rap lyrics. If you're really living that life currently. You got any idea the feds might be on you, somebody might have snitched on you, so on and so forth. You can't be using rap lyrics. Y'all telling on y'all so, man. Um, guns and videos. They don't have to know that it's a real gun. They don't have to know. That's reasonable enough suspicion to get a warrant sign to come search your crib or your car. You got guns all in the video. Uh, the brother Chapo Thirty Three. He told y'all he went to prison. He violated his, uh, I believe, federal probation by having a handgun in the video with the fake imagery of him shooting somebody. They got his markers and tattoos are holding a gun. I don't, I don't think it, it, it. He even showed his face in that scene. He went to jail. Guns, BB guns, it don't matter. Prove that it's not real. And most people can't. And if you're a felon already, you're not supposed to be around nothing that look like a pistol. If you don't got no movie role, how many, and you're not contracted to some company for doing this, you going to jail if they choose to do so. You did what I'm talking about? Um, I told y'all the jury was easily influenced. And, and, and the stuff you post on Facebook, it was guys in this situation, man, posting the feds just took my AR from my little bro. Somebody got killed with an AR style pistol. Then they got AR style pistols in the videos. These are just young men lost, seeking notoriety, really wanting to live their raps. You know, we from Detroit. Everybody want to be super real. Everybody want to be the Cheddar Boys, the Street Lords. You did not talking about, and it's 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 messed up. But I, I I just wanted to touch on them details. This is just I'm just showing y'all how they can paint to a jury. This is this is what's going on. We charged him with murder. He rapped about a murder. He alleged killed a 4-2 member. He said he dropped 4-2. He dropped the 4. That's what he said in his videos. And then he showed a gun after. Similar to what he got killed with. For example, um, like I said, the coat with the 55 on it. That show your affiliation. The tattoos, red zone. I'm from, you know, I, it's on my body. I'm claiming 48205. I'm, I'm claiming, you know, 48205. It's there. You see when they said uh, he rapped about beating a homicide, it was worth it, keeping his mouth closed. Insinuating that he did it, even though he wasn't convicted. And sometimes they'll let a judge, they'll let a jury hear that. And the judge won't grant a mistrial. They'll let him hear evidence that's not really evidence anymore. He, he was proved not getting, there's no double standards, no double back. There's no doubling back. I think it's only if you got multiple homicides whether they was dismissed or beat they can use it towards your guidelines or something like that don't get me twisted on that i have my um, cousin come on here and explain that to y'all um what else was in the video oh yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. exact details about crimes exact details 
Y'all got to stay about that, man. And I'm not knocking them or I'm not clowning them guys. Or nothing like that. It's nothing like that. This is just pure public information pull from websites, transcripts, indictment docu list, dockets, so on and so forth. This is nothing. I'm putting out this exclusive information that I got from somebody. It's nothing like that. I'm just detailing what's going on. Y'all want to know. Y'all keep asking about it. Y'all want to know the charges. So we're going to break it down video by video. Each video I do, we're going to break it down in, in who went to jail, who what, who got this time, this, this, and that. I'm getting better at it. Bear with me, y'all. I'm getting better at it. Uh, patience is getting a little bit better doing these videos. Uh, peace and blessings be upon y'all Big ol' five Make sure y'all hit that smash Like button and the comment subscribe Gone, peace